Today we're checking out some more Star Trek The Next Generation Season 4. Dr. Beverly Crusher, personal log star date 4481.3. Began an analysis today of the respiratory problems being experienced on And there's someone new in my life. Oh, what? Oh, dang! Beverly's got a lot going on. All right, all right. Beverly episode. Just Ambassador making it the lift. Dr. Crusher, I was just on my way to speak to you. Hello, Data. They're a little flushed. The ambassador and I have set aside this time to analyze the incidence of the lung disease on the moon's inhabitants. Right. Then it is perfect timing, Doctor. What better occasion to integrate my results into your study? <laughs> Data. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling very well. I myself must return to my quarters. Ambassador, are you still having those awful headaches? She should see to him. It'll take you a while to input the figures, won't it? At least an hour. But I do not believe much time can be saved by exhibiting such haste now, Doc. Data, there are times when every second does count. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ew. Beverly know about this. Ew, 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 what's happening? We have an alien situation. <laughs> I like it. Woo. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing mission to explore strange new Science. worlds. To seek out new life. And new civilizations. <laughs> Pop, 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 pop. Sounds a little different on my new headphones. I like it. The host. The host, indeed. This guy's got friggin' stuff growing inside him. All right, what's going on? When I first met the formidable Dr. Beverly, uh, uh, 10 days ago? Mm. They met 10 days ago. This woman is ice. Oh, <laughs> ice cold. Her, her bones. Mm. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed, instead of ice, there is fire. Oh my! Fiery redhead indeed. They're like two teenagers in love, and one of them has something growing inside him. A card to Ambassador Odan. Yes, Captain, this is Odan. Federation representative from Pelia Zell has come aboard. Would you care to meet us in the observation lounge? I'll be right there, Captain. He's all business. The people on our moons have been in discord ever since they migrated from our planet. They're like two squabbling children. We try to help them settle their arguments by not taking sides. That nose piercing. My design models suggest that Beta will eventually experience rising temperatures, erratic tide surges, and in general, the beginning of global warming. Ah. We'll be in orbit around Piliazel within six hours, and Ambassador Odan could beam directly down to the planet's surface. Excuse me, Captain, I prefer to shuttle to the surface. He doesn't want to beam? Oh, because of his... It would be difficult to guarantee your safety. Well, I'm sure I'm not the first who has expressed discomfort at the idea of molecular transport. Mm. Thank you. I'll shuttle down. He's a non-beamer, but it's got something to do with the whatever's happening. Whatever is going on in here, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Beverly is having a great Hi. day. Oh, are they going to girl talk? Yeah, yeah, get, get some deets. Spill the tea. Is that the collagenite astringent you have on your eyes? Busted. Someone just put it on me. I didn't know you even came in here. I don't. At least, um, at least not very often. I think it's nice. Feels good to indulge yourself sometimes, especially when you haven't done so in a while. What What is that supposed to mean? Destroy what's going on. You're in love. She knows. I don't think it's really a secret. <laughs> it isn't. You've been glowing. She got that sexual glow. I haven't felt this way for a long time. And you like it. I like it. Everyone likes falling in love. Okay, I gotta know what's going on with this dude, though. Well, I do like to go into a situation as well informed as possible. And I must say that your staff has been quite helpful in briefing me on the problems down there. Briefing him in the briefs. Okay, all right. Your He's not Dr. Get. Beverly is an extraordinary person, both as a scientist and and as a woman. Oh, is he a little jealous? Do you have any idea how committed she is to remaining with Starfleet? Whoa. I wouldn't presume to speak for her. Oh, no, of course not. I just thought. He wants her to quit and run away. I'll find my own way, Captain. I hope to return with good news. He's thrown off by that conversation. I don't know when I'll be back. I know. Have a safe trip. 
must stay safe, Dr. Beverly. I have good reason to return. Will they kiss right there in the shuttle bay? An unidentified ship is emerging from the limb of the moon. Hail the vessel. I have visual contact. I don't recognize it. It claims to be an escort vessel from the beta moon. Claims to. Request a security clearance code. Music's telling me. do not me. answer, sir. This is not good. They are loading their phaser banks. Increasing fire, fire, power to the shields. Shield what the frig? They're firing on them? Get out of here. Who is it, Romulans? Is he growing a teen shiny Romulan inside him? Report number one. We've lost port thrusters at both backup stabilizers. I'm losing control. We're bringing you like in. music. Holy frig. Just starts firing on them out of nowhere. You can't tow us. You better beam us directly on board. No, he's just don't do it. Up. I can't stabilize. He doesn't want to be beamed. I'll lay that order, Captain. I'll bring her in manually. Advise Dr. Crusher we have a medical emergency. It's your boyfriend. He's just a host for what? Sedimentation rate is 29, but his lymphocytes are still intact. It's as though there's a parasite at work. Bingo. <laughs> but what is it? And he knows about it. What the frig is it? What is that? Oh god, that's gross. His body is just a host. I am that parasite. Ew. That is what must survive. That's not what you want to hear from someone you love. A host and a symbiont. And in this fashion, we have survived for millennia. Well, they just keep... You're dying. Like, what can I do? Will that body die and then the host comes out and then that host has another guy? You must contact the Trill quickly. Tell them I need another host. They will send a replacement. But she loves this host. Odan's host body died of the injuries just over an hour ago. Oh. But the symbiont being, Odan, is still alive. But the man everyone thought was his father was just another host body. What the frig? I placed Odan in stasis. He can survive another hour, maybe two, but not beyond that. Would it be possible for me to serve as a temporary carrier? I was thinking that... We're at a desperate impasse in the Pelia system. The attack on the shuttlecraft has inflamed the dispute. Who is responsible? No one will admit anything. Each side accuses the other and the threats are mounting. Will it always kill the host? Could one of them do it? I volunteer. There's been no precedent for a human host. I couldn't guarantee what might happen. The risk is too great, Commander. I agree. It's your choice, Will. Let's get to it. Seems risky. I've given you a local anesthetic. You must be conscious during the implantation. Oh, wow. Drugs might damage the symbiont. That's brutal. Laser scalpel. All right, space surgery. Oh, they're going to show it. Uh, laser scalpel? That's cool, man. That's her boyfriend. Ew. Ew. He's gonna uh, that has to go inside him? No. Mm-mm. Nah. Ah. Oh, it's like a little brain. Just nestled on in there. We've got incorporation, Doctor. I'm closing. Space stitching, no scar. You're going to be all right. You look a little tired, Dr. Beverly. Dr. Beverly? Come on, Mr. Mike. Did it take over his brain? Is he is he the boyfriend now? But what about Riker? His skills, his thoughts, his memories. They will perceive you. So we know it's all about Beverly then. It is your task to help them understand. I cannot promise they will listen. They are more factionalized than ever. Speak softly, Governor. Those who cannot hear an angry shout may strain to hear a whisper. Very true. But is he still a little bit Riker as well? You look awfully pale. Just a little weak and lightheaded. Cerebral blood flow looks normal. But she won't be into him if he looks like Riker, right? Did you ever tell me that you were only a single being? Of course not. That was normal to you. Yeah. I don't know who you are. And you look like my co-worker. I still love you. Oh. I can't help that. If this causes you pain, I will suppress it. I will keep my distance. She's pretty upset. Is Troy gonna be like, I told you so? And had three children. Twin boys, Andrew and Alexander, and then later, a little girl, Jennifer. What? I did not know she had other kids. In my daydreams, at least, Stefan was 11 and I was eight. He never even knew I existed. Oh. I felt completely free with him, unguarded, at ease with myself. Mm, she did really love him. Are they still here, alive, in Will Riker? Freaking Will Riker! 
<laughs> yeah, that's complicated. Someone you love and were really attracted to goes into someone you feel like they're your brother. Ooh. He's here, isn't he? Look at him. I don't want to look at him. Talk to me. Just keep talking to me. She's afraid of her feelings. If you can feel those things from the man we know as Will Riker, accept the love. Can she do that? Halen Tros. Then you were a young man, bristling with passion and zeal, yet wise enough to understand that your people needed peace to ensure their future. Flattery will get you everywhere. They agreed to trade places for a week to understand each other's situation. With After that, an agreement came swiftly. Nothing that you have said is beyond what a schoolchild could learn in a history book. Not convinced. He is an obstructionist. You can see that. Kalen Tros, you may confer with your people, but we must have your answer within eight hours. Oh, sooner than that, he looks bad. Is Riker's body in danger here? The other guy died. Oh, look at Brig. I can administer an immunosuppressant. That could help relieve the symptoms, but it can't correct the underlying cause. There is a foreign organism in his body. Yeah. We gotta remove that parasite. I can give you something that should help with the pain, at least for a little while. The pain's gone. Whatever that is, is such a cool little tool. They will bolt if something goes wrong in the discussion. And it's my job to see that nothing goes wrong. Did I say something wrong, Captain Picard? For a moment, you sounded more like, like Will Riker. Yes. And that little smile, that was all Riker. Computer, location of Dr. Beverly Crusher. Dr. Crusher is in her quarters. The rose is opening. It's Beth. I thought I should see how you were doing. And she missed him. Uh, tomorrow's an important day. Do you feel ready for it? I'll be fine. I've been preparing. Oh, that's good. Yes. Oh my god. If you're going to leave, you better go right now. I'm oh my leaving. <laughs> The sexiest commercial break ever. Temperature is elevated. The effects of the medication are wearing off faster every time. I'll administer one now and hope that it will hold for an hour or so. Did they? No. No floor? more. Will Will remember this later? Are the injections damaging to the host's body, Riker's body? <sighs> we can't put him through any further risk. How can you function? Conduct the meeting? I'm very sweaty. Doesn't look good. Riker will not survive if I am not removed. He has done enough. I agree. Your word. Very well. I wonder if she'll be attracted to Riker after this. The governor and the two representatives have returned. I will escort them to the observation lounge. Thank you. All right, pull yourself together. Wipe the sweat off your brow. I'll stand by with the medication just in case. Beverly, have to. whatever else I may be to you, I'm your friend. He is. Cares about her. And I want you to know, I'm here. Oh! I wish these two crazy kids would get together. Although he's got a little piece on the side somewhere with Q. They all deserve love. This music, I'm liking it. Oh, it looks bad. It was worth it. Oh. Ambassador. All right, parasite out. And some set a course to intercept with the trill vessel, but better go to warp nine. nine. Sir, sir, it could warp take more nine. than two hours to reach the vessel. I must remove him. I gave my word. Make it so. You need some rest, Doctor. No. If Odon is to survive, he needs to be implanted in the new host as soon as he arrives. I'll wait here. It'll be some time. I know. He worries about her. Is the trill host here? Yes. Good. Bring him in. It's a lady. Doctor. She was hoping for a sexy man. Dr. Beverly, could we talk for a moment? I was not expecting this. I've never felt better, except once or twice. My poor Beverly. It sucks because you do need to be attracted to someone you're with, not just mentally. It seems as though everything has turned out for the best. Not for Bev. But we are not accustomed to these kinds of changes. I can't keep up. How long will you have this host? What would the next one be? That's a good question. I can't live with that kind of uncertainty. That's fair. Perhaps someday our ability to love won't be so limited. Wouldn't that be nice? Odon, I do love you. Please remember that. I will never forget. 
get you. I think maybe if he'd been upfront with her and told her, like, I'm gonna change my appearance all the time, she might have had an easier time wrapping her head around it. But because it was a surprise, I just don't think, like she said, she's just not ready to jump around like this. Okay, that was season four, episode 23. I took this episode as I believe they meant it to be taken in the 90s. However, I do think there are some like kind of weird things about this episode that I can see now, you know, as we look at it 30 years later. But you know, for the most part, I took this episode as I believe it was meant to be taken, which was we got to ask some questions about what it means to love someone. Are we loving their physical form? Are we loving the mind, the person that's inside? I do think it's fun to kind of question your if you took the brain out of someone you love and put it in another body, would you still feel the same about them? How much does the physical body being attracted to each other, how much does that mean in terms of love, in terms of relationships? I mean, these are these are interesting questions to ask. Personally, I think that physical attraction is an important part of a relationship, if that's the kind of relationship you want. I'm sure there are relationships that there were that's not as important to you. And uh, again, fair enough, to each their own. I did enjoy also, like, you know, I want to see these characters make out, so obviously Obviously, you know, seeing, seeing Bev make out with a dude, seeing Bev and Riker surprise the crap out of me, and I, you know, can't say that I didn't enjoy seeing two characters that I love hook up. I mean, what are you gonna do? But I do think that, like, if you really think about it, there's a, there's a lot of kind of weird, a little bit icky stuff there. I mean, it is totally a violation of Riker for them to just use his body, like, to hook up with each other. I mean, I can't imagine that he gave permission for that, so that's not great if you really think about it. But anyway, I, again, it's one of those things where I, I like that I'm thinking more. I think Star Trek is best when it makes me think about questions and think about things like this. So I'm happy that it has me asking questions and thinking about things. I do also think though that the guy was very deceptive. I mean, it seemed like they genuinely cared about each other. They were genuinely kind of falling in love. I personally don't really think you can fall in love though, unless you're being really honest. I mean, he flat out lied in the meeting when he said he didn't want to beam down because he didn't like the molecular changing or whatever. That's not the reason. The reason was because he was hosting a parasite thing and it would kill him so I mean he was lying he lied about that I feel like if he wanted to he could have been honest with her and like I said in there I mean I feel like if he'd been honest with her up front and you know they're starting to like each other they're hanging out and he said you need to know this though I change physical form she might have even been cool with it if she had like been given the heads up but anyways again I like that it's making me think about things I would be curious to know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.